think it's really important to have in-person time. Uh, you know, we read all the blogs, everybody gets the newsletters every day, and what ends up happening is you skip through, skip through, skip through, and you look for the things that support what you already know. I think what's great about an event like this is there's some editorial people are actually looking at it and saying what might be important to you that you might not have clicked on or selected yourself. And being able to talk and act in a you know, dynamic way instead of just absorbing, absorbing, absorbing is great. We're actually really excited about the new assignment with the Clippers. Um, I think it's a great time to pick up the Clippers business because the Clippers are a team on the rise and they're an organization that is really sort of starting from scratch to build a brand. So it's fun from a branding assignment and from a creative point of view, everybody wants to work on clients that are fun and entertaining and uh, it's amazing how many people in the office have volunteered to add their talents to the Clippers business. So it's, it's really exciting in that way and, and I'm always happy when we have full service clients that can work through strategy, creative and media because it, it's so much easier to put all the pieces together when they're under one roof. It's funny because I've spent uh, almost the last 20 years working in digital and I think one of the things that's been great about working in digital is that change management has been a part of my job every single day and I think that one of the things that's really important with all the changes that are going on is that you'll find people tend to want to vilify what happened in the past to justify why they want to do what they want to do today and I think that one of the really important things in managing change and adapting is not trying to vilify what was done before but just recognizing that the circumstances in which we're operating are different and the playing field's different so maybe we need different solutions different processes different ways of do doing things. Project Drive-In I think is one of the great examples of how content is changing and how video is changing. It's really been a great opportunity for RPA because we developed this concept and came up with this idea and thought there's a really neat tie-in here between families and cars and Americana and it really fit together nicely but it's also one of those things there's not a budget to go out and sell the idea of drive-in theaters to, uh, to customers. So what we really did was use a cause that people cared about and we created some momentum and, and enthusiasm around this cause and allowed people to get involved in saving drive-in theaters. So uh, Honda becomes basically a philanthropist and the storytelling allowed us to weave in Honda in ways that were authentic and true but Honda really did come to the rescue of a lot of these companies and have now saved over 50 drive-in theaters uh, around the country so we're, we're pretty proud of that. One of the things that we've talked about throughout the Videonomics conference is the idea that you need to create content that people want to see. The difference between a broadcast world and an interactive world is we don't get to just push content at people and assume that they will watch it and not skip it. We have to actually create content that people want to invest their time in. So uh, I think one of the things that it forces us to do as marketers is to figure out how to make our product and services interesting to people instead of trying to tell them what we want them to know. We have to invite them in and find ways for them to discover those things on their own. So it's, a, it's an interesting transformation and obviously with so many different tools available it gives us lots of ways to attack it. I think when uh, the dot-com era came in the early 90s, marketers and agencies were not prepared for how it would come and how quickly it would you know, blow up and fall down and, and the growth in business models and the changes in business models. I think we're much better now at adapting and evolving, but I expect the same pace of change to keep going.